Hi, right, so this is a quick demo of um, a feature I've just added to my XFM patch editor to show the routing between the signals. So, uh, first off, just to note that you can get a copy of this yourself from that URL which I've posted many times for other places. To run it, you just literally run Python with XFM.py and this happens. So, let's bring that into there. The new feature is you just click this button here and this appears. Um, so what this is going to show is the connection between signals uh, from each operator to each other operator and also to the output. So by default the uh, only operator on's output is connected, uh, or output's level is connected to the output. If I just vary that you'll see um, the, the intensity of the line drawn is dependent on how how much of the signal goes there. So if I just turn that well down, oh, if I can get it to go down, uh, then it sort of thins out the line, but I'll leave that one at um, 127. So if I was to turn up the output of, say, operator 2, then that would appear, and the output of um, operator 4, and the output of operator 3. Um, then it will also show the connection of from operators that are acting as modulators into operators that, that these are all, are all now acting as carrier because they're all giving a signal to the output but for instance I have the operator 2 into operator 1 signal so that would be this here uh, if I just turn that up um, a little bit more um, then we see that it's now getting quite a strong signal from operator 2 as a modulator into operator 1 and if I just turn it, the outputs from the other operators into each of these, you will start to see a patch of signals appearing. So turn that one up. That one. And maybe some of that as well. Yeah. And so what we've got here is operator 2 is giving quite a strong signal into operator 1, and that is. Um, because it's set to 118 out of 128, so it's not surprising. That one there is very thin, so that's operator 2 feeding to operator 3. Uh, you can tell by the colour coding, it, it's green, so it's starting here and it's going across to here. It's a very low level, so if you look at operator 3 OP2 input, it's very low. If I turn it up, that line will th thicken. Um, and then the only other routing of signals that you don't see here just yet is that not only can each of the operators play their signal into any one of the other operators but they can play it into themselves and that is feedback so if I turn up the operator 1 feedback um, we'll see this start to appear here to show that it's getting some feedback I mean the the line intensity is only based on the absolute value this goes from minus 63 to plus 64 but it just shows full thickness when it's set to 63 um, or 64 um, so it doesn't matter whether it's plus or minus let's turn that on some more that's just caused this to appear and there you have it so now what was just a very simple setup of operator 1 just feeding its signal purely to the output has become quite complex operator 1 is getting feedback it's feeding into operator 2 which in turn is feeding back into operator 1 Operator 3 is feeding into operator 1 and operator 4 is feeding into operator 1 and there's 2 to 3, 3 to 2, a bit of feedback on 4, a bit of feedback on 3 and 2, um, then 4 into 3, 3 into 4 and so on. And as I say, each of them is also, as well as acting as modulators because they're passing signals into other operators, they're also contributing the output so that they're carriers as well. Um, which is kind of the power of this um, FM simulate, uh, synthesizer. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, totally good.